The Jets, they were a little resistant, sure, but they were. I mean, do you think this type of all access in the NFL is dying, JP, with that? I think it's becoming more and more difficult. Like, you ask yourself the question for the organization and for the players, what is giving this type of access really serve? Because there was a time where free agency involved a lot more recruiting, and so maybe you would want to show off what your team culture was. There was a time if you were a player where you were like, I need this FaceTime because people don't get to see behind the cage at all. Now in the day and age of social media, I don't think players are as concerned about that. If you're trying to show off what your organization looks like to fans or to potential uh, free agents that you're trying to court, nobody really goes to free agency like that, and the fans can get the inside look because everybody's got great social media teams. And so having this seems like it'd be a little bit more trouble right now than it was in the past. I look at the college game, and it's so different. Like, you have a guy like Deion Sanders who literally is like, no, do the documentary, which he's done, and he has everybody following him around, taping him. Like, he went to have emergency surgery, and he had a camera crew there as he was getting out of the car to walk into the hospital. I think it's a different world because you do have to recruit in that sense, and you want to get your players exposure, especially in the age of NIL. The, the NFL, it is literally a built-in production just showing up on Sundays. And then mm -hmm. all the, the engagement opportunities outside of that, I think these cats are tired of having to muzzle themselves when the cameras are on and, and when they're rolling and, and people are around. I, I think that they're tired of giving up some of the secrets that are going on behind the scenes. It's going to be tougher and tougher to pull this off for the NFL. Well, and I think there are certain teams they can look at it as an opportunity. The Lions, for example, I sure. think that was a huge asset for them last year because Lions, not many people talk about them. So you kind of got to see inside what the new era looks like under Dan Campbell. And I think when you're trying to turn, you know, a new page and a, a new chapter for the Jets here where you have Aaron Rodgers as the quarterback, it seems like they actually could do something with this team. I think maybe look at it as a positive. But when you're Aaron Rodgers and you've been in the league, for so long he's like this is nothing new I don't need hard knocks here but I think Aaron it could Rogers, be good for Jets and Jets fans when you're trying to get people excited about this upcoming season if you're Aaron Rodgers and you've just been in the news that much regardless of, of yeah. how many years you've been in the league and all the exposure like Aaron Rodgers gets talked about for anything that he does and it's probably <laughs> right. tiring for him all right well I'm I'm gonna be watching I'm regardless watching too. I, it's gonna be Heck really yeah. good to see what's going on there with the Jets